For 55 years, this is how Israel has ushered in its Independence Day holiday, a celebratory ceremony featuring the state president and prime minister. The highlight is the torch lighting, 12 beacons representing the 12 tribes of biblical Israel, each one kindled by an Israeli citizen chosen for the honor. One of the torches this year is being lit by Lucy Aharish, journalist, television presenter, and our colleague at I-24 News. She grew up in Dimona, a daughter of Muslim parents who came from Nazareth. She was educated in Jewish establishments and defines herself as an Arab Israeli. <laughs> Two days before the ceremony, the torchlighters are invited to Israel's parliament. There they received another reminder of why they are being accorded one of the highest honors Israel can bestow. She represents moderate views, showing that coexistence is possible in our country. She has excelled in her role as a journalist, both as a presenter and as an interviewer. They also go over the sentence they'll say as they light their torch. I'm Lucia Arish, daughter of Salwa and Maruf, sister of Saida and Suzanne. I'm honored to light this torch. Harish knows each word is important that everything she says will be scrutinized not only by Jews, but also by Arabs. As a journalist fighting for equality and coexistence, who does not hesitate to criticize her own people, she's already aware of the reactions. Extremists on both sides of the divide relish hating her, but the majority in between will embrace her with open arms. Let's go back to that moment. You received a telephone call telling you that you have been chosen to light the torch. God, I received this call, I think, at 8 o'clock in the morning, and you know me, I, I speak a lot and I talk a lot, but at that moment, I was, like, numb. I, I didn't know what to tell him, I, I didn't know how to react, and of course I started crying, so... And then the first phone call was to my mom, and she told me, um, you know what, Lucy, this is your biggest answer and your biggest victory to all the racists that made your life impossible this year, to all the comments, to all the people who told you that you're not worth it, that you should not be here, to all of them, this is your answer. The theme of the ceremony this year is Israel Breaks Through. Among those present here are Dr. Danny Gold, one of the developers of the Iron Dome missile defense system, which in the summer war protected hundreds of thousands of Israelis from Hamas missiles. Representing the startup nation is Eud Shabtai, a developer of the Waze navigation app. All of them, including Aharish, will light the torch with the words, for the glory of the state of Israel. Saying the phrase for the glory of the state of Israel is this a problem as an Arab Israeli? I'm proud to say to the glory of the state of Israel because I want my state to be an example for all the world. I want that this state will be the example for coexistence. Benjamin Netanyahu posted a video on his official Facebook page. But there was one moment which nevertheless raised some doubt. Election day five weeks ago, when Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu released this video. The rule of the right wing is in danger. Arab voters are flocking to the voting ballots. Left-wing organizations are driving them there on buses. I was at work and I went outside and I thought to myself, the Prime Minister of Israel basically said right now that I'm the enemy, that me going to vote is not a legitimate thing. I'm glad that he apologized and I'm, I respect this apology, but I really think that uh, it's a bigger job for us right now to, and I, I, I hope that the leaders in Israel will understand that their job is not only to protect Israel from outside threats, but also to protect Israel from itself. Aharish is kept frantically busy. Final rehearsals for the ceremony, interviews to scores of media outlets, photographs with admirers, a meeting with the Speaker of Parliament. And then, when for the first time she ascends the stage in the general rehearsal, the emotion takes over. 
Did the little Muslim girl from Dimona ever believe she would stand here and light a torch on Independence Day? No, not, and I, I don't think that in a million years I would imagine this. It's like, um, it's crazy. It's crazy because I used to laugh a lot with my friends about this and, and uh, they always used to laugh about me. Oh, one day we will see you lighting the torch in the Independence Day. And I told them, oh, well, give me to light the torch in, in the Independence Day. I'm just thinking right now about my parents sitting there and, and watching this. And with a new suit. With, a new, with my father with a new suit. <laughs> I think that it's the second time that he's buying any suit in his life. It's, it's amazing.